The other day I was rummaging around in my basement when I came across an old netbook that was considered slow, even for its time. I had some early childhood memories of PC gaming on it, and decided how it would hold up today. This netbook is an old EEE PC 900HA with the Intel Atom N270 running at 1.6 GHz. It has 1 GB of DDR2 clocked at 667 MHz and an amazing 8.9 inch 1024 by 600 display. But no one cares about that. You came here to find out if this old netbook can game. First up, we have the original Far Cry. I figured this would be a good choice since it only required fairly minimal specs. It wanted 256 megabytes of RAM, a Pentium 3, and a DirectX video card with at least 64 megabytes of RAM. The atoms seemed to be around this area of general speeds and capacity of the Pentium 3's Nathons. After some research, I found out the 900HA contained an Intel GMA 950, which still surpassed Far Cry's minimum requirements. But as you can see, this netbook cannot run Far Cry at a playable FPS. I suspect this is due to the Atom processor, since it is the weakest component of the netbook, and its earlier tests proved to be very un underpowered. Next up, I tried to run Morrowind. The netbook still surpassed its minimum system requirements, so I expected something good. The game ran playable, but whenever you looked at the characters, the FPS just dropped, and loading areas did take a minute. Finally, I tested Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness. It, re it was released in 1996. I was certain this would run playably, and sure enough, it did. Overall, can this netbook be used for gaming? Yes, it can, but only for tiles that are very old. Not that disappointed in this computer. I didn't expect much out of it, and even the fact that it even started some of the games I was surprised about. A lot of you may be like, can it run Crisis? No, it can't run Crisis. It didn't want to launch Crisis. It didn't like Crisis. Yeet.